the University of Oregon hopes to install the City of Eugene's first bike share system. The Associated Students of the University of Oregon, the school's student-run government, has approved a grant for nearly $200,000 that will help the university's outdoor program develop the system. The idea is to install four bike stations on campus that will hold 10 bikes apiece for a total of 40 bikes. Students will be able to rent a bike by swiping their student ID card at one of the stations. Once they have a bike, they will be given a set amount of time before they have to return the bike to campus. There will be a one-time annual fee that students will pay in order to use the bikes. Bike program manager Brianna Orr says that the new bike share system is a cost-effective way to provide students with bikes. What bike share is, is a way to uh, allow folks to access bikes in a public space. So there might be a station over by the EMU and another station over by um, Global Scholars Hall. So you'd be able to pick up a bike from the EMU, um, you know, using your credit card or debit card, um, ride it around to, to Global Scholars and, and check it back in at that station over there. The contract for setting up the system will go to a Wisconsin company called B-Cycle that runs similar operations in other cities of the U.S., including Denver and Charlotte. So I'm here in what's known as the barn, a facility located at the University of Oregon campus where the outdoor program stores all of its equipment that it lends to students. And right here next to me is the bike that the outdoor program has decided to use for its proposed bike share system. Now the bike was designed to be user friendly. As you can see, there's no top two, so you don't have to swing your leg over the seat every time you want to use it. The seat itself is easy to adjust, but can't be removed to prevent people from stealing it. On the front of the bike is a basket where you can put your books and bag. And on the front of the basket is a light powered by electricity that's generated by copper wiring inside the wheel. Now the outdoor program says they've decided which bike they want to use, but they're still negotiating terms of management between the university and B-Cycle. The outdoor program also says they don't have a set date when the program will begin, but hopes it will start as soon as possible. From the University of Oregon, I'm Brian Ferry.